Shark Symmetry Collage Part 1. For this project you need a blue paper, a gray paper, a small black paper, a strip of white paper, scissors, glue stick, pencil, and crayons. Now my iPad didn't always know when it was a gray paper so you're going to start with your gray paper but every now and then it will look like it's blue but it's really the gray paper. So you're going to take your gray paper and you're going to fold it in half like a long boat and then you're going to crease it at the bottom. Okay now you're going to take your fingers and put it on the left side and I used about four fingers and then you're going to make a dot with your pencil. And now you're going to go to the side of the paper where it can open and you're going to put two fingers down and you're going to make a dot. This is kind of in the center of your paper. Now you're going to put two fingers again on the end and make a dot. So you should have three dots. Now I'm going to draw a curve line from the first dot to the second dot and a straight line from the second dot to the third dot. Now you need to get your scissors out because we're going to cut this. So you're going to see it opens like a book that way and you're going to hold it together so you're going to cut both papers at the same time. So cutting very carefully making sure that you open and close your scissors very well and move your hand to help you support the paper. Okay, now this is gonna show symmetry. That means when we open this, both sides are gonna be like a mirror of one another, like that. Now you'll need to get your glue stick. So you're gonna open up the top and when you crank it up, you're just gonna crank it just a tiny bit above the white part like that. Now you're gonna take it, and I usually um, go all the way along the edges, and then I'll go into the center. Now you're gonna pick up your paper. Usually I can pick it up with my glue stick, but this time it was being silly. You're gonna put this on your blue paper, but here's what I want you to pay attention to, that you need to make the bottom match the bottom of your blue paper. Do you see how they're right on top of one another there? And rub it down. Now your paper should look like this. Now get your blue crayon. It doesn't matter which blue. It can be a super dark blue or a lighter blue. And we're going to make little U shapes connected together to make it look like water at the top. And then I took my white and I just lightly colored the very, very top above my little U shaped line because I wanted my sky to be a little bit lighter than where the water is. And that's the reason I did that. And it's really light, but it looks kind of cool. And you can make yours lighter or darker, or you can even make like clouds in the sky. It's up to you. Okay, now you're gonna turn your paper sideways and get your black crayon. And we're gonna make some black along the edges of our shark. Now the reason we're doing this is because usually their belly is a lighter color than their top and I just did mine very lightly because I wanted it to look almost like a shadow but if you want to do it in a dark way that's cool too. So I'm taking my black just adding a little bit of the black to the edges of my shark but not at the very bottom because that's still part of his belly. Okay, so this is what your shark should look like so far. Now it's your turn. Follow the directions carefully.